Hey guys, Taylor Mungus has here coming on you with another walkthrough, and today we're going to be walking through Mission 2 of Splinter Cell, which is Police Station. But this time we're going to be doing it without taking anyone out, so all guards are going to be perfectly alive and well. Now, as you can see, we're playing in hard difficulty, so, and we're playing Police Station. So yeah, first, now this first boring part of the game, where you walk through a building full of fires, so first you climb up to this ladder. So, this won't exactly be a full stealth playthrough though, and considering how some of the guards actually need their attention to be taken so that they'll move into certain places and lead them to Sam, Grim's daughter's here. I say jump, don't some parts of it won't be stealthy at all. Fortunately, there are quite a lot of medkits in this level. And all the guards are armed with pistols. Jesus, that was close. So Take getting caught won't be ahead, too big of, the the of an issue, even in hard difficulty. Oh, Sam, Grim's daughter here. I say jump, don't act out loud, just jump. And then this next part. After you open this door, put out the skylights, and then wait a few seconds for the smoke to go out, because we really don't want to lose in any health at all in here, because we might need it. Alright, so now, go ahead, and now we're past the board. So yeah. Now I'll run across, and then at this point, we're gonna crouch, and then move at the second slowest speed. Stay crouched the whole time. Keep distance from this guy and just move across these palm trees. Watch out for that guy in there, and then once he gets to the door, open this window and then crawl in. And then, wait for the door to close. And then you can start speeding up around here. And then, get this med kit even though you probably won't need it. But it'll be best just to take it. And slide this open. Use the computer. Use the keypad. Blaustein's heart stopped beating 43 hours ago. Any reason the CIA wouldn't know about this? And then, nope. from here you're gonna want to take out as many lights as you can, since you'll actually be accessing this area later on. So, go ahead and take this light out. And then take this light out. And those are the, the only lights you can take out from here. So go ahead and zip line. And now, take this light out. And then that light. Now, you're not going to be able to take that other light out though. So now, just head for this door. And then typically be sure to save right here because you're not always going to make the jump. So slide down this pole, open the trap, and then select your lockpick. Because we're going to be lockpicking this next door. There's nothing in this room to obtain though. Now the pattern for this door is up, left, down, down. So yeah, crawl over this fence, 
do you think you're doing? And crouch. Move slowly. Go down these stairs and then go up to the corner. Now, what we're gonna do next right here is wall jump. And this will actually catch the attention of those two guards over there. Uh, but if you're quick enough, move over to the right and then climb over this fence. Listening? I heard something unidentified assailant. Then I get to the middle part of this fence, climb over it. Get out of the way! Got the yeah, once you're in here, they're not gonna come after you. Come out with your hands up. Cause right now they think you're down in there. So just wait until the tension settle a little. Stay completely still, otherwise they might see you. Okay, now. Now tensions have dumped down, and yeah, watch out for this guy as well. Stay inside this little fence area that has the plants. And yeah, stay as close to this wall as possible. Where did he go? Getting any closer might get you seen. Okay, now that far. all the people are further enough away from this light, you can take it out. Who is that? Go back to hide inside this area. And yeah, since we're not going to be taking anyone out, we're going to have to take out as many lights as we can. He couldn't have gotten far. Again, stay completely still. Where did he go? Eventually, both these guys are gonna get back to their original position and the original patrol. Well, that light's too far away. Yeah, eventually we're gonna follow that guy and then take out the two lights over on the other side of the alley. And yeah, this playing it this way could be pretty time consuming and difficult. But it's a rather unique playstyle. Now, eventually he's gonna get to that side of the alley and then he's gonna go up the stairs. Now, once he gets into that staircase part, you can take this light out. And then, stay flat against the wall, and also stay still. Let him walk past you. If you move while pressed up against the wall, um, he's most likely going to see you. So just stay completely still, and don't get up too soon. He might stop right in front of you. Wait for him to get somewhat further away. Take out this light. Alright, now you can go up these stairs. And then run over here. Take out these two lights. Yeah, the civilians are typically not too big of a threat yet. Uh, over here, you're gonna take this ammo and then take the two med kits. And then the laptop, use it. Now that opens this gate, which now has this guard walking through. Usually, he walks forward even more, but this time, since we took out the light, he stopped there a little. Now there's gonna be a civilian nearby here, and yeah, this civilian's actually gonna be somewhat of a threat. 
I'm going to take this light out. And yeah, you might want to keep these soda cans in handy. And then from, from the top of this dumpster you can actually jump onto this roof which we've actually been before. You know, after we zipped lined from the balcony. It's a good place to hide from both the civilian and the cop. Now, yeah, not only we're not going to take out any guards, we're not going to even take out the civilian either. Everyone is going to be up and walking around. But yeah, this civilian right here is probably going to be the biggest threat in this area. Because even though he's not armed, if, if he sees you, Everyone else is going to see you and then come right to you. Alright, now you can go ahead and then generally hide in these little crevices. And then wait till this cop walks past you before you advance forward. Yeah, also, again, watch out for that civilian. Now, once this guy gets to that gate, and then... Stop, you kill me! Whoa. Well, we got seen. Well, it seems that other cop isn't anywhere around right now. Yeah, watch out for that leather jacket guy as well. I must be crazy. Once you take out these lights, you'll be able, you'll have a safe hiding spot up here. For, for some reason, he had a hard time climbing up this pipe. But yeah, usually the leather jacket guy is just gonna stand there and stare this way. You, you, you're gonna want him to... To not be in this place, so eventually we'll have to lure him out. Oh, he's all the way over there right now. Oh. Oh, that the civilian. Not really sure what happened to the cop though, he doesn't seem to be wandering around anymore. I'm gonna wait here until tensions die down. Now, if the leather jacket guy walks out through that way, that's going to be the best outcome because then we can make a run for the part where we jump onto a dumpster and then jump onto the wall. So, I'll try to see where the leather jacket guy is.
Oh, there he is. Yeah, so although this might seem as, as a crazy idea, first we're gonna wait for that cop guy to get all the way over to that other side. So that if we do get seen, we'll have only one guy to deal with rather than two. Wait for the cup to go back the other way. We're wasting our time. But yeah, firing a shot at him is a good way to attract his attention. Now watch to see if he stops here. Oh. Now, again, wait for the cup to get all the way to that side, which now he is. So now, again, pop, and then climb up this thing. And then now we've made a run for this dumpster and then jump over the wall alright now we've got past the hardest part of this level so now 5929 is the code for the next door take out these two lights so that you'll have a dark outside spot to go to uh, 5929 Now, wait for this cop to get into his office. <laughs> now, first he looks at your direction for a little and then he turns away. Right, now is a good time to get up to him. Press against the wall. And then watch out for the uh, geek guy in here. Oh, he, he just walks back and forth along that counter area. So choose a good time to enter the room. Use this shelf right here to hide from him. And yeah, once he's at the left side, you can go ahead and go through this door. And then run up to this camera and take it out. I've got agents right, and now go back out. Well, Somebody there's also this the med kit. Take it if you need here. it. There's a security camera here. Good thinking. We'll track the Watch out for that guy again. Station surveillance room Make sure he's on the floor. left side. Or at least in the middle. Mm -hmm. 
Alright. Now we're gonna wait for him to get back to the right side, or at least to start walking to the right side after he's gotten to the middle, and then we'll slowly head to the door. Alright, uh, good timing. Now open the door, go up these stairs. Right. Wait for this customer guy to get up close here. Now go behind this curtain. I'd like to talk to your superior. Listen in on the conversation. Uh, and there's a light spot by this door, so you're gonna wait for the cop to, to turn to the right. Oh, we still got seen anyways. Well, anyways, we go in here. Wait for the door to close and then come up here and shoot this light out. Who is that? And take this light out too. Come on. Uh, Watch out for these cups in here. Now, if, if they ever spot you and then open fire, uh, just get back underneath here and stay completely still. What was that noise? Yeah, gradually take out these lights. We're gonna want this room to be as dark as possible. What do you think's going on? Don't let them see you. And yeah, usually try to get as close as possible to the lights when you shoot them. Well, they're off. Because otherwise, it's going to take about 20 bullets to take a light out. Alright, he's going back on his computer now. Same with that guy. Yeah, we're also going to want to take these lamp lights out. Turn the lights back on! What was that noise? Yeah, it, again, this the horrible accuracy of this gun makes it all much harder. Who is that? That's not good. Yeah, three wasted shots. So turn the light off. Hey, I'm in here. How did that happen? That's not good. 
Not a good situation. Eventually, all the lights are going to be out, and yeah, it's pretty time consuming because of the because of all the lights in this room, plus the horrible accuracy of the pistol. Just don't destroy any of the computers though. Well, except for the ones that these guys don't use. Now you can also go ahead and go in here. Then immediately go to the corner. If you turn the light off right now while the door is still open, they're gonna notice it. So yeah. Shoot the light out. Use the computer. And then go back outside. How did that happen? That's not good. Just try not to let yourself get cornered. to this room hey. again preferably wait until they go back on their computers Oh, there's a soda can up here. Because there's more ammo inside that room over I'll there. Somebody else worry about it. Yeah, usually when they say they'll let someone else worry about it, they're gonna go back onto their computers wait for the door to close yep now we've taken the ammo there's also a soda can up here Last door we're gonna have to go into is that door right over there. Try to keep as much distance as possible and move at the slowest speed. Alright, now we're here. 
So now open this door, and we're going to have to somehow avoid attracting, well actually attract the guard's attention so that he comes out here. Alright, that's good. No one else heard it. Come on, door close. Alright. Now we head hey, to the computer. Great work, Fisher. We're scanning the videotapes now. And then go all the way into this corner, press up against the wall. And yeah, we're gonna have to wait a while. Cause we want both those guards to go back under the computers and for the, the guard that came from here to uh get back onto the computer in here we try to hide anywhere else and then the guard comes in here then he'll see you I'll let somebody else worry about done. Now we've made it past him as well. Now let's peek under the door make sure... Yeah, now they're both back on their computers. So now we can go ahead and make it to the exit. Except there's another guard that, that might be watching out. So be wary of him too. He was the guard we saw earlier at the front desk. Alright. Yeah, we're quickly we're gonna crouch, run to the door, open it, and then just walk through. Right, now we've made it. And there we go. 